Well, there's two major issues as I see it. First of all, I agree absolutely with Jess. It's completely untenable mm -hmm. that the BBC doesn't name this individual. I read today online that apparently one in six adult Britons already knows who this is because it's so widely shared on the internet. That, that seems to me completely untenable. And you can't help have a bit of a feeling that the BBC is sort of circling the wagons, completely vainly, by the way, in my view, around one of their own to try and protect them. It's not necessarily the approach they take when other people are accused of wrongdoing. And I think for lots of us, that brings back um, a lot of the allegations and the behaviour that we saw from the BBC during the long period of abuse under Jimmy, Sh Jimmy Savile, where there was a view that the BBC mm. hadn't dealt with that correctly. That's the first thing, it's about mm. the individual. The second thing is, has the BBC dealt with these allegations themselves correctly? And we're learning now that family members of the first alleged victim contacted the BBC, and it was